What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. It looks like Alabama has their guy. Kalen DeBoer is negotiating a contract to become the next head coach of Alabama football. In my last video, I said that Kalen DeBoer is the most underrated coach that's being mentioned for the Alabama job. I know this wasn't Alabama's first choice, but this is a great hire. Everyone thought it was going to be Dan Lanning or Steve Sarkeesian, and Dan Lanning was Alabama's first choice, but Kalen DeBoer might be a better coach than Dan Lanning. Let's not forget that Kalen DeBoer beat Dan Lanning twice this season, with a less talented roster. And yes, Washington's roster is less talented top to bottom than Oregon's. I think Dan Lanning is a great coach, but if you're just talking about coaching ability, not including recruiting, Kalen DeBoer is 3-0 against him, that's all I'm gonna say. My biggest question about Kalen DeBoer is can he recruit? We know he's a great coach, but at a program like Alabama, you're gonna have to be able to recruit at an elite level to stay on top. Not just recruiting high school athletes, but will he be able to keep the current roster intact? because there's already a lot of talent on that roster. There will be some transfers inevitably, but there are some extremely talented young players on this roster that Kalen DeBoer needs to lock down. Caleb Downs is going to be a monster. He's a five-star safety from the 23 class. Kalen DeBoer's first priority has to be to keep this guy in Tuscaloosa. He's also got to get Julian Sayan to stay. That's the future of your program at quarterback. He's a five-star quarterback. Those are just a handful of names, but I feel like if he can keep at least 85% of that roster intact, Alabama's going to be in good shape moving forward. For anyone doubting Kalen DeBoer's coaching ability, I want you to take a look at his record as a head coach. This guy has been a winner everywhere he's been. His overall record as a head coach is 104 and 12. He is 72 and 1 at home. That is an insane stat, especially when you consider how tough the Pac-12 has been over the past two seasons. He won three NAIA national championships at Sioux Falls. He led Washington to a Pac-12 championship, a playoff win against Texas, and a national championship appearance. He did this at Washington. Let's be real, Washington is not a top tier program. If you go back and look at their recruiting classes, they don't consistently recruit in the top 10. When you look at their roster, they don't have an elite roster from top to bottom. And the fact that he was able to lead Washington to the national championship in a 14 and one season speaks to how good a coach Kalen DeBoer is. Imagine what he could do with the resources of a program like Alabama. I'm not saying that I think he's gonna come in and win national championships right away. I'm not not saying that I'm saying that I think this is a good hire and he's clearly a good coach and if he can recruit this might be the best hire of all the options available let me know what you think in the comments do you think this was a good hire do you think that Dan Lanning or Steve Sarkeesian would have been a better hire let me know in the comments that's it for today if you enjoyed the video you can leave a super thanks to support the channel I would appreciate it a lot be sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe thanks for watching I'm out